Hello and welcome to our Bible devotional. We're currently in the book of Ephesians and we're looking at Ephesians chapter 4 or starting in chapter 4 today. Here the apostle says in verse 1, I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. And verse 1 starts with, I therefore. He's referring back to all the great things that God has done for us through Christ. He says, in light of what God has done for you and for me, there should be a, a, a response from us, a commitment to him, a commitment to fellow Christians. Uh, there should be a way of life that's fitting for the gracious gift that God has given to us. So he says, I therefore, as a prisoner for the Lord, as somebody who serves the Lord and is willing to uh, sacrifice for the Lord, I urge you, verse 1, to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. To walk means to live in a certain way. And Paul's prayer and Paul's instructions for Christians is that we will live a life and have relationships and make decisions and have attitudes within our heart that are worthy of the calling to which we have been called. We have been called by, by God through Jesus Christ to be his representatives on the earth. That's what the church's calling is, to represent him, to be living images of God, to be made in the likeness of Christ, to represent him before a watching world and he wants us to do that in a righteous worthy manner what does that look like what does it look like to live in a manner worthy of the calling and the mission for which we have been called when well, he tells us what that looks like in verse 2 he says with all humility and gentleness with patience bearing with one another in love eager to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace what does it look like to live in a way that's worthy of the calling which we have received? What does it look like to live in a way that's fitting for all that God has done for us? Well, first of all, it means humility and gentleness. It means that we don't look at ourselves as deserving of recognition, applause, that we're not offended easily by somebody uh, uh, does something uh, to us uh, that we're not constantly looking out for number one. Uh, th that rather we're walking in humility uh, that doesn't get easily offended. That we're walking in gentleness. That when somebody does something uh, that may offend us or something that could hurt us or something that's wronged us in some way, something that we perceive, whether legitimately or illegitimately, as some kind of injustice, rather than this kind of you know, crossing our arms and pouting and throwing a fit and saying, they shouldn't treat me like that rather than carrying an inward bitterness and anger, uh, rather than getting upset at all uh, in the church, amongst fellow Christians, rather than doing any of that, rather than that, we're patient with one another. See, one of the highlights of the Christian life, one way you know you're making growth in your Christian life is not by how much increasing Bible knowledge you have or how many times you go to church, uh, but how patient are you with people when they do something that bothers you. Do you bear with one another in love, as it says in verse 2? That's what it means to live worthy of the calling that we have received. That we, 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 we don't just uh, get angry at people. We don't just get in a huff and get all upset because somebody has done us something against us or because somebody didn't do something that we think they should have done for us or because they've fallen short again and again of what either God's standards or even our standards, but rather we are patient, humble, gentle in our responses to others and bearing with one another in love. As verse 3 says, that we're eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Some people are, are eager to break the bonds of peace. Some people seem to be eager to uh, bring division within the church and division among Christian relationships. But what we should be eager to is to bring healing. And when, where there's been brokenness, to bring reconciliation. And we should be willing to let go of any wrongs that we perceive have been done against us. Love covers over a multitude of sins, the Bible tells us. That's what it means to walk in a manner worthy of the calling that we have received. So the question we need to ask ourselves is, are we doing that? 
in our relationships with other people and especially with other Christians, are we living with humility, gentleness, patience, forgiveness, bearing with one another in love, eager and, and willing even to sacrifice to maintain the unity of the Spirit? That's what it looks like to live in a manner worthy of the calling that we have received graciously through Jesus Christ. I hope that you and I are doing that. Have a blessed day.